birthday dinner quickly cooked up. My dad made his own clam pasta that no one's having. Mm. My mom's famous potatoes, cucumber salad, the last of us mushrooms. So if you saw my last video, you saw my steak failure. You fucked up. I think I redeemed myself this time. We're gonna see. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. So it's medium mm. rare, no? So my mom surprised me with my favorite childhood cake. How do you make it, mom? Chocolate wafers and whipped cream, is that it? You let it absorb and it becomes mushy. Good morning, everybody. It is a little bit after my birthday. Sid got me some amazing gifts and we're gonna show you them. So, gift number one. How'd you find this? I was on this website, it's called Unified Goods. I think they're based out of the UK and it's like curated vintage stuff, and mm -hmm. I thought Jet would like this hat. It's like a vintage wool. Yeah, it's really uh, old and well made. She got me a nose hair trimmer. Just asked for one. Why are you doing, doing that on the white couch? Her big gift to me was if you remember our vlog in Paris, I tried these jeans on. I didn't end up getting them because I wasn't sold, and then I saw them again, and then I really wanted them, but then I think they were sold out but Sid managed to get them for me. I happened to find them on a website in Australia. So they came all the way from Australia. Find the red socks. But I like how they're super long, because I'm tall and they aren't, usually jeans are like short on me. I bought some lychees, or lychee, however you prefer to say it. But she's never uh, had like a fresh one peeled. Oh, there's a big seed. There's, a, okay, let me. Eat around the seed. Mm. You like it? Mm-hmm. Yeah, the seat is so big. So I'm at my dad's. I had the flu for a week, so that's why I have this gross thing, but I'm finally feeling better. Made it over to my parents, and I am going to TNT with my dad. Check out the Asian grocery store. Gotta get something for a TikTok, too, but he can't know about it. Who made these pants to got for my birthday? Is she? Yeah. You like them? Yeah. We're going for something top secret, but we're gonna explore a bit. I'm gonna get something for a TikTok of ours oh, that is a secret. I need to buy oyster sauce, I need to buy food. You. I did recover from the flu, it's throwing up. Yeah. It works. What do you think caused it? I really feel that you you actually uh, had a bug that from food, your body runs down. I didn't notice you've been drinking a lot of juice, which is a lot of sugar. And I don't think so. There's always some sort of theory you have mm -hmm. about how I got sick. It's not just like, oh, I maybe touched the door handle, then touched my face. Always something what I ate, fried foods, sugar. Yes, because diet is the biggest thing. Uh, if you don't have a good, strong diet, you, those those things you touch a knob won't 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 touches you. All your you touch know your knob? No. <laughs> Never been here at this location. Yeah. They have like big food bar, all the Chinese food. Really? Like bakery, all the stuff. Yeah. Really? Well, this is the secret I'm getting for you. They told me I shouldn't film in here, so I'm being a bit secretive. Who are you? It's a fermented soya bean. Used for what? And all the chefs in the world trying to understand how to ferment things. Uh, that, but the Chinese been doing it for centuries. I thought it was Korean. No. Before the ancestors, the Korean also followed the Chinese method. Oh. Wow. Love you, Celebrity. Bro. Vacuum freeze dried durian. Mm -hmm. I, I eat fresh. They didn't let me film too much in there. I got some papaya, a couple snacks. I have an uh, admission. I started vaping like Kai. No, son, you know what the outcome, right? What? You're smart enough not to do it. Stupid. Cotton candy flavor. Just kidding. Nose trimmer. You can trim your bum too. With that. <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> Mustache. <laughs> <laughs> you know, when you have a mustache like that, it makes you want it to not to touch it, just like a, like use my finger to just like ding ding ding. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's just like a little hormone suddenly grows overnight. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Holy f what the hell is that? For your anniversary today, we've been together, which is kind of crazy. It's just like from grade 9 to grade 12, I was saying to sit in the car, but it feels like way shorter than that. But because the fraction of that part of our life is longer because we've been alive for less, 
That's the theory people say, right? We weren't together in high school. You're saying we've been together the same amount of time as high school is. Yeah. Yeah. And we're going for brunch and then we have some other things planned and I'll bring you guys along. And I'm going somewhere which I won't speak on yet. I'm leaving the city. Can I have a uh, orange juice and a uh, oboe latte, please? I tried something different. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you like it. It's a dried one. I like it. Thank you. Dried arrangement. I don't know what the difference was. I just thought it looked nice. I love it. Look at the blue roses. Yeah, those are the nicest part. Looks nice like that, huh? Mm -hmm. Looks nice so nice. Base. I got a dried arrangement because I was like, oh, I've never got this before. I'll try it. I think I prefer the, the alive ones, but I guess the bonus of these is that they last longer. Now we are actually going to play some tennis. Plan the day out a little full date day. Me versus Sid. And I usually take it pretty easy on her, but. Do you have anything to say for yourself? My play did the talking. So Sid and I have celebrated Valentine's Day and our anniversary. Um, we didn't really do much on Valentine's Day actually, as you saw, we just celebrated on our anniversary, but we have something coming up that I won't tell you about yet. But I'm super excited because I haven't told you guys yet this video because I wasn't planning on it being in this video until I got sick, but I am actually going somewhere Flight early as heck tomorrow with my dad and meeting up. But a little surprise, but we are going to my favorite restaurant I've ever been to. I'll just keep it a hint at that. Just in terms of experience, taste, things like that. Super excited to go early as hell flight tomorrow morning. So very short trip too, because we're actually flying somewhere after from there that I can't tell you guys about yet because we're working on a project and then we're flying back home. The different here, the wind is so freaking strong. Last time I was in Chicago, that was almost like when we toured the schools and you're sleeping on the chair. <laughs> I toured a school at university in Chicago here, and while we're all waiting in the room, they had these yoga chairs, and I fell asleep sprawled out in the room, and I was so embarrassed. You are going to school, not me, so <laughs> you need it. I need it. We're at the hotel now, waiting for the special guest. Want to tell them about it for lunch? Well, we're going to uh, Rick Bailey's place. Rick is one of the most uh, important uh, Mexican chef in the United States. Very knowledgeable, amazing food. I taste his food and I want to bring back that memory again. We're going to prank the special guest coming that you need to wear a suit to the restaurant tonight. <laughs> Why did you say you checked in? You didn't check in. Did you bring a suit jacket? Yeah, because uh, they, they require that suit oh, jacket. Shit. Yeah. No, what obviously I didn't. Huh? Obviously not. So should we, what are we doing then? Just rent one or buy one. There's no way it's a suit jacket. That's what they require. Check it I out on the website. I polo. I don't think they want that. Oh, well, that's what they're getting. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Troll. Troll. <laughs> no, right? <laughs> yeah. You remember? I knew it wouldn't. Oh, we just checked in. I'm about to take a Nobu shit. Kai and I are sharing a room. We're only here one day, sleepover. Yeah. We're leaving tomorrow morning. Just simple room. Like my dad said before, we're going to uh, Rick Bayless's restaurant, who's a very well-known chef. Actually, the brother of Skip Bayless. And Mexican food, we're gonna go check it out.
I didn't remember that Rick Bayless was on Top Chef Master season before you won. Yeah. He won, yeah. One thing about Chef Rick Bayless, flavors, always right on. How many likes for you to quit vaping? All right, what up everybody? Super excited because tonight is the night we're going to one of, if not my favorite restaurant I've ever been to. 